Okay, I wanted to do a quick video on something that I get asked about a lot. Um, I do a lot of shipping uh, of mascara from my home to customers that are not quite local enough to pick it up or maybe in an, even in a different state, etc. So, um, it is, I have checked a bunch of different ways and I believe I have found the best, most cost effective way to ship. Uh, and that is through PayPal. And so a lot of people ask, how do I do that? It's, I'm confused. I don't know how it works. So I thought I'd do a quick video. So you just want to log into or go to paypal.com slash shipping. And once you're on this page here, down at the bottom, you can go to multi-order shipping. And you want to enter your PayPal password. And then this little screen comes up. I just closed this. I don't really even know what it is. Um, so we want to start out up here at File. And we are going to create a new order. <clears throat> their order details, I just leave all this blank. Um, I don't put in an order number or anything. Sh for shipping details, when you first do this and you weigh your mascara or whatever you're shipping in the in your envelope, uh, you will have a certain weight. Um, and once you get all that information added, so I'll pretend I don't know what the, or I, I don't have it already preset, which I do. So I use first class mail, which is two to five days, and I use package slash thick envelope. Uh, I just use the bubble envelopes. They're Avery brand, size zero. They fit mascara. They'll fit two mascaras. They pretty much fit anything that I've ever needed to ship for Unique. There are larger ones available, but I get these on Amazon and they're super cheap that way <clears throat> so it's a package and or thick envelope and the weight for me with a mascara my envelope and a thank you card in there is six ounces so you get all that done I always hide the co postage cost in the label just because I don't think it needs to be on there. And if you if you want to save this, if it's a mascara and you ship a lot of those, I would go ahead and save that as a preset and call it mascara. So I actually already have that done. So I'm going to go up and select my preset. And you see nothing else changed because it's all the same information. But then every time you log in, all you have to do is click mascara and it puts in the weight. It puts in everything. And you don't have to do anything else. <clears throat> For our ship to address, I'm just going to ship it to myself. The ship from address, you would have to enter the first time, unless it, it might populate itself because of um, PayPal, but anyway, if not, enter it and then it just saves it in there. So then you're all done. I don't do any personal message to the recipient. And then you just save and close. So that is this one up, this top one, I believe. <clears throat> so when you are all ready to go, you can see over here when you when you highlight the the one the package or whatever you want to call it. Over here on the right are the details, and it shows there that two twenty five is what you're paying to ship this through PayPal. <clears throat> so you're going to want to go ahead and print. And highlight whatever one you're printing. And you could select pay and print. I'm just going to do the one I selected. I had to redo this video because the first one didn't actually record and so that's why there's another one just sitting in here. So it, it gets a tracking number all ready for you. This little window pops up. You say you want to print the label. I just print the label. I don't print a scan form or anything. I use uh, self-adhesive internet or, you know, white 
they are called internet shipping labels, um, from Avery, and they, uh, I think I said the envelopes that I use are Avery, they're not Avery, they're Scotch, but the labels I use are Avery, and, um, they, there's two on a sheet, and they are perforated in the middle, so you can print and then tear them apart, and just slap that right on the envelope, so you don't have to print something and then tape it on and all that jazz. So, he would go ahead and print this. I'm not going to because I'm not using it. And then you just pop it on the envelope and you're good to go. And then all these little receipts will pop up. If you're, say you're shipping for free, you're not charging the customer and you want to write off the shipping or what have you, you can print these out to save them or keep track in whatever way that you have chosen to keep track. So I'm going to close all these. Now, obviously I did not really want to do that because I'm not shipping myself a mascara. So if you highlight it and you go up to, let me try to remember where it's at, and I don't do this very often. Okay, I don't know. There is a way, oh maybe it's under history. Oh yeah, this one's the one I already tried to refund. So this one says it was printed, but it wasn't. So I do not want to print that. Okay, so you highlight it down here and up here then you just click void. Now if you need to, if it didn't, you know, if you print and your printer jams or whatever happens, because that always happens, you can also, when you highlight it in your, when you find it in your history and highlight it, there's an option up here to reprint. So you can do that. So anyway, I've avoided both of those, and it does take a while for the money to go back into PayPal, but, um, you know, no big deal, because that doesn't happen very often that you're ending up deleting one. So, 225 and the envelopes, I, I mean, I think they come out to maybe 20 cents a piece if I buy them on Amazon. If I buy them at Target, they're more, so now I just buy a box on Amazon, and it's much cheaper that way. So, I charge... I, you know, I charge $32 for a mascara locally that works with our sales tax. And then I charge $34.50 if I am mailing it myself. So that's, you know, 25 cents more than the cost of the shipping. And then charging $32 for the mascara is actually 25 cents more than the actual amount. So I got 50 cents there to play with. And that covers the cost of the envelope and the shipping labels and all that for me. So... I feel good about doing it that way. The best part about this then is it's done. You don't have to wait in line at the post office. So you can either drive through the post office if that's close and, and just drop it in the, you know, the blue receptacle or like for me, I have a UPS store in my uh, town center right by my house and I can drop off there and the uh, post office actually picks up from the UPS store. So I just take, I try to ship a bunch all at once and just drop them off in there. They're already pre, you know, labeled and paid for and it's super easy. So I will show you if you wanted to do this from home and you wanted to go directly through USPS, we're going to calculate what the price would be. We're going to say it's a large envelope, six ounces. We'll say it's rigid because it does not bend with a mascara in there. I will send first class. So as you can see here, first class mail parcel is $2.86. So right there, it's 60 cents more than doing it through PayPal online. And the other downside is it is not available online. So you cannot print out the postage at home and get it all ready to go. This means you would have to go to the post office and either wait in line or use their automated machine. And that's a lot more time out of your day that if you're like me, you don't have. So I highly recommend the PayPal version. Uh, it's worked great for me. I've never had one problem and I have sent a lot of mascara out in the last year plus. So hopefully that helps. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.